Welcome to JB Technicians. Today we will talk about a changeover switch marked 1, 0, and 2, which is used in dual line setups. We will explain how it works. I brought this changeover switch today to install somewhere. And before installing it, I'm making this video to show you how it works. Friends, when you get it, it will come in a box in three to four pieces. And first, you need to assemble it. Let me show you how to assemble it step by step. Whenever you're installing it in a distribution box, DB box, assembling can be tricky, so let me explain. First, you have the plate labeled 102, which you can see. It will be installed in the DB box, which usually has a metal sheet, and the switch is mounted from the back side. Then you place the plate over it and secure it with two screws. The plate of the DB box fits between them. Pay attention to how it's done. Friends, this 102 changeover switch is used in places where there are two power lines, such as one from a generator and the other from the main electricity line. It is used so that when your electricity goes out or there is a power issue, you can switch to the generator. This is a heavy duty changeover switch, 32 amperes. As you can see, I'm assembling it on the plate. Now we will install it in the DB box. Once done, place the cover plate on top and check with the knob to ensure it's adjusted correctly. It's all set now. Then put on the cover, which fits perfectly. Next, attach the knob on top. Friends, Whenever you watch our videos, please subscribe to our channel so you can receive new videos in advance. And don't forget to press the bell icon. Also, if you have any questions or want to learn something new, feel free to ask us. We will definitely help you with it. Now the changeover switch is fully assembled. The markings 1, 0, and 2 mean 1 is usually for the electric connection, 0 is the off position, which disconnects the line, and 2 is for the generator connection. I will now explain the points on the switch. You can see four points with a jumper in the middle, which are for the load connection, meaning the line going to the house from here to the distribution box. The points are marked 3, 7, and 5 on one side. And then on the other side, you have points marked 2, 6, 4, and 8. Points 2 and 6 are where you connect the neutral and phase for electricity while points 4 and 8 are for the generator's neutral and phase. When set to position 1, it will connect to the electricity, and when set to 2, it will switch to the generator line. Let's move on to the connections. I will first connect the load. The connection for the house needs to be made here, I am now connecting Teslam so that I can turn it on and show you how it works. And you can use a wire up to 6 millimeter thick for this.
The thinner wires shown here are only for demonstration purposes. Now we've connected the load. In actual setups, use color-coded wires to avoid confusion. If you are experienced and have learned enough of the work, you can use any color of wire. Just make sure to wrap it in tape to separate it, indicating whether it's the load wire or the supply wire. Marking it this way with tape will save you time during the connections. I am now connecting the supply. In this, the neutral phase is always connected, and the neutral phase comes out as the output. You can see that we have completed the electric connection. Now I am connecting the other wire. These two wires I've connected will be taped separately for easy identification as a supply line. In a similar way, you can mark your wires below for easy recognition so that when you are working in the DB box where there are usually many wires, you can avoid confusion. That's why you should keep track of your work and mark your wires with identifiers to keep them separated. Now I am attaching this wire to point 8. If my cameraman can show you the number, you'll see it's connected to point 8. Which is the generator side. This is where the generator supply will go. Similarly, the phase wire is now connected. I'm repeating that you should connect the neutral phase in the correct spot with the generator's neutral in its place and the electricity's neutral in its own place so that the output provides a neutral phase for the house load connection. All right, friends, we've completed this connection. Understand that this is the generator line and I've marked it separately with tape. I'm showing you this for your understanding. Now we will turn it on. I am supplying power through an extension box. and have switched it on. Friends, as you can see, when we switched it to position 1, the electric line is active and the light is on. Similarly, when the electric line goes out, you can turn on the generator and switch to position 2, which will activate the generator line. Now we've turned off the electric line. When we turn it to position 2, the generator line is active. All right, friends, I have shown you this practically. Watch and understand it, and feel free to ask questions if something is unclear. Please like, subscribe, and share our video. Thanks for watching JB Technicians.